Hey everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time to the channel, please like and subscribe. Today, we're gonna do a three-way blind of the Elijah Craig Small Hatch. It's showtime! And um, the reason I'm doing this is one is a normal shelfer, and the other two are store picks from stores in my area. And I wanna see, are some store picks better than the shelfers? So this one here comes from the Liquor Max in Allen Park. It's eight years and it came from Rick House 1H Floor 3. This one here came from Wayne Med Market. came from Rick House KK floor four and it's nine years and they're all um, the 94 proof and this one back here is the shelfer they're not in any particular order they're just sitting up here so you can see them uh, the glasses are labeled and numbered on the bottom they have been mixed up so we're gonna get into it this might mean a battle royal but the first glass it has a butterscotchy smell, some honey, not a lot of proof, not a lot of spice. It's just your basic Elijah Craig nose. Go for the taste. On the palate, um, you get a little bit of spice, you get a little bit of uh, brown sugar, maybe a little bit of butterscotch, and um, some spice. Not a lot. It's not overpowering. It's pretty enjoyable. Um, very little, very little finish on it. And coats the palate nicely. Coats the palate nicely. And um, yeah, it's a good sipper. So I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Stay hydrated. Grab a drink of water. Move on to the next one. So all the glasses have about. I'm gonna screw these up. Have about the same color. Um, it's a nice light amber color. They're not too dark. And they're between eight and nine years, so you wouldn't expect too much. But on the, the legs, the legs cope very well on both of them. I do, didn't do it that one, but you, I could see it. They're coating very well. So let's go with the nose on this one. Coming off that one, I'm searching. I'm searching on the nose for this one. You get just a hint of ethanol, but I'm not getting much of anything else. I'm going for the taste. This one's flat. I can't find anything. There is hardly any taste off of it. You get a slight, slight butterscotchy, maybe brown sugar taste, but there's no no spice at all involved. You get no barrel. You know, on that sip, you got a little bit of spice, but not much of anything else. So go ahead and put that down. Drink a little bit of water. Going for the third glass. And as you can see, it's got a nice amber color to it. It's not dark. It's not too light. It spins good. It's got a good spin to it. You've got to go by the spin. Uh, legs stick into the glass really well. It's really nice. Going for the nose. 
And this one you're getting a lot more of that um, butterscotch, brown sugar, a little bit of um, maybe some allspice. Yeah, I'm going to go in for the palate. This one, you're getting a little bit more of the barrel. You're getting a little bit more of the barrel. You're getting some honey. Um, coats the mouth really well. Get a nice little hug going down. Not much, but a nice little hug. Get an all spiciness, um, some brown sugar, butterscotch, a little bit of honey. Um, and you get some of the barrel tannins. All right, drink a little bit of water and I'm gonna go back through them from my right to left. <clears throat> so far, this has been fun. Elijah Craig puts out a good product. I'm not kicking that, they put, a, they put out a good product. It's a good everyday sipper. Um, my whole point here is to see if any of these store batches actually beat the shelfer. Um, a lot of people swear by store store picks, and um, I love store picks too. If you know where to get them from, so you know, or if where you get them from, they're good at picking. All right, I'm gonna go back through. So on the taste, that one has more barrel char, it has uh, more honey, more butterscotch, a uh, little bit of spice, that one's good. Go to the middle one. That one's just light and flat, light and flat. Um, very little taste coming off. So we'll go, I'm going to take a drink and go with the next one. This one is sweeter than that than the third one. Um, it's got some spice to it. You get more of that brown sugar and butterscotch and honey. Okay, so I think I've come to the conclusion of which ones I like best, and I have to go with the third one because I'm going to give it one more sip it had some more of the barrel tannins it had the spice it had the sweetness it all kind of wraps in together into one it's got a nice little finish coming down so I'm going to move this one forward and then number one I think was my other favorite Yeah, that was sweeter, it coats the palate nice. Um, it's just a, it's a good drinker. So I'm gonna put that one forward. I'm gonna try this one one more time. Yep, off of those two, this is flat. It does not exist, it never exists. Hardly any taste, any finish. So I'm gonna leave that one back here. So with that being said, if I had to pick one of these two, which was my favorite, then I'm going to have to go with... The winner is... Number three. Because I like the barrel off of it. I like the sweetness. Um, I like the spice. These two are really good. This is a put a gun to my head pick. I would buy or pick either one of these, but if I had to pick one for being the best, which I kind of have to, going with number th with with this one, number three, which would have been my number three. Yep, 
Yeah. So I'm gonna move this one up here, put this one here. And these two were excellent. Nothing wrong with these two, but if I have to pick one, I've gotta pick this one. These are fantastic, fantastic. Um, I would buy either one of these. So with that being said, let's see which is which. So in this glass, the, the third place one, it is bottle number one, which bottle number one, surprise, is the shelper. So it looks like the two store picks did beat out the shelfer. So I'm gonna move this one over here. And I'm gonna put glass one with bottle one. And then the one that came in second place, I'm telling you what, there is no there is a second place, but I would buy either one of these bottles. This is a I have to choose, and for my palette today, this is how it ended up, but I would buy either one of these store picks. Number three, number three came in second, which is the Wayne Med Market, uh, the nine year. Wow. Wow. And then obviously number two, which is from the Liquor Max, came in first. Now, what I wanted to set out to do today is see if store picks are better. And in this case, these two store picks beat out the shelver. Um, hands down, there was definitely a flatness to this one. There was very little taste coming off of these. Um, both of these were good and excellent for different reasons. I'll scoot this over a little bit so it's not in my face. Um, I would and I will pick up either one of these store picks again because they were excellent. I had to pick something to be the winner. So I would um, say, yeah, some store picks do beat out the shelvers. If I were you, I would ask for a sample, check it, see if it fits your palette, and go from there. Um, other than that, man, you guys have a great day. This was fun, and I enjoyed doing this. So if you haven't, like, subscribe, comment let me know have you done a, a, a blind with store picks versus shelfers and how did it come out in this case the two store picks clearly clearly beat the shelfer awesome have a good day